Okay, so then the next thing is going on, let's take a look at some woodwind instruments. Now, woodwind instruments are basically two different kinds. You've got flutes and you've got reeds. And I've got something which is the panpipe flutes, which are right here. Now, the panpipe flutes are the only instrument that you'll probably be able to make in all these things that really have a good way of getting the 12-tone Western kind of system. And that is if you measure these, these, uh, these uh, straws in the right kind of way. These are just black plastic straws here. And what I've done at the end is I've put some modeling clay. Now, this is the kind of modeling clay that doesn't dry out. And that means that it stays nice and tight because you have to close up the bottom. So here's an example of uh, just a pla black plastic straw that I cut, which is the correct length. I'm going to take a little piece of modeling clay here, and you can see it's uh, still malleable. So I'm going to put it right onto the bottom like this. <coughs> Sounds OK. So I'm going to put it onto the end of the pan pipe right there. Now, I want to put this piece of wood here because that gives it a little bit of structural integrity and makes it a little stronger to hold and so forth. And then I'm going to wrap the tape around just like this. And now I've got my pan pipes. Something like that. Okay. Now to get to the, um, the other kinds, the reed instruments, my personal favorite for the reeds are the plastic straws. And here I have a regular old plastic straw. It could be straight, it could be a bendy straw. It doesn't really make any difference. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten down the end of the straw, smoosh it down with my fingernails like this. And then the next step is to cut a double reed there by going snip with one corner like this and snip with the other corner like that. This makes kind of a double point like that. If I put my fingers right about there, that's where I'm going to put my lips. I'm going to bite down with my lip like that and push the air through the straw using my stomach muscles, my diaphragm. Now the next step, of course, is to get different pitches. And to do that, I'm going to need my little pocket knife. And here it is here. Now you can use any little scissors, like a little toenail scissors or anything like that. I'm going to put four holes starting about maybe right about there and then going down to the end. If you put them right up to the mouthpiece, it's really hard to do. So here's what you do. You have to go like this, snip once, go from the other side, snip again. And you can see a little diamond-shaped hole pops out. I'm going to do the same thing here here and here. I'm going to do it from the other side, like so. And now, if I've got them just right, I should be able to play them. Something like that. Okay.